the junkyard has become an unwieldy mess. As a junk clearing robot, or junk bot, it is your job to clean out your area of the junkyard. Robo Junkyard is a game about getting rid of all of your cards. Each round, players start with 12 junk cards and will try to get rid of all of them. Each robot that does so will be awarded shiny victory credits. The first lucky robot to earn six victory credits is crowned the winner. To set up, each player gets a junk bot. They can be assigned randomly or chosen if all players agree. Each player places their junk bot card and its associated 12 card junk deck in front of them. Leave space in the center of the playing area for the pile, where the junk bots are going to throw their junk. Also, make sure there's room for the discard pile and the collection. Put the victory credits in the spot that is available to all players and place any unused cards back in the box. The first round is ready to start. Before pushing their junk around, the junk bots survey the area and set up their hand of cards. To start a new round, each player performs the following two steps. First, shuffle your deck and draw four cards. Choose and place one of these cards face down into the collection. The collection is a shared area that will contain one card from each player. It's an assortment of items that are saved for their historic value. Cards in the collection are pieces of junk players don't need to get rid of, but may be tampered with via card effects. Place the other three cards face down to form your extra stack. The extra stack is a stack of cards that will be added into your hand later. Then pick up your eight remaining cards and choose any one of them to place face down in your extra stack. Once each player is done setting up, they will have one card in the collection, four cards in their extra stack, and seven cards in their hand. After each player is done setting up, determine the first player. If it is the first round, start with the player who took out the trash most recently. Otherwise, the player with the fewest victory credits becomes the first player. In case of a tie, choose randomly among those players tied for the fewest. The round is ready to start. If it is anyone's first time playing the game, it is highly recommended to play a practice round of the game before a normal round, as it's a good way to learn about each of the cards. In a practice round, award no victory credits. Instead, allow the player who wins the practice round to be the first player in the first normal round of the game. To set up a practice round, each player searches their deck of cards to find their six and adds it face down into the collection. Then, each player shuffles their deck and sets aside four random cards face down to form their extra stack. The practice round is ready to start. A player's turn consists of either playing a card onto the top of the pile or picking up the pile. If it's your turn and the pile is empty, you may play any card from your hand onto the pile. If the pile has at least one card in it, the card you play must be of greater value, not equal value, than the card on the top of the pile. If you have multiple cards with the same value in your hand, you may play all of them onto the pile at once. After playing a card, your turn ends and play continues clockwise with the player on your left. Each card in Robo Junkyard has a special rule, sometimes affecting when you can play the card. Make sure you follow the rules of a card after you play it. Many cards let you perform an action after playing them, like peeking at a card in the collection. If you play multiple cards of the same value at once, you may only perform one action on one of the cards played. For instance, if you play two nines at once, you may only peek at one card in the collection. Many card effects blow up the pile. If this happens, place all the cards in the pile face down into the discard pile. Then the player who blew up the pile gets to take an additional turn and play a card to start a new pile. If that player has played all of their cards and has gone out, play continues with the player to their left. If a player cannot play a card or chooses not to, they pick up the pile. That player takes all the cards in the pile and adds them to their hand. If the pile had any special cards in it, marked with a star, immediately discard those cards face down into the discard pile. Play continues with the player to that player's right, who is usually the last player to play the card, and continues clockwise. After playing a card and performing any actions on the card, if you have one or fewer cards in your hand and have cards in your extra stack, add all the cards in your extra stack into your hand. After playing all of the cards in your hand, if your extra stack is empty, you've gone out. If you're the first player to go out, place two victory credits on your junk bot card. Once the first player has gone out, all of the other players continue playing until there's one player left with junk in their hand. When a player goes out but wasn't first, they receive one victory credit. The last robot stuck with junk in their hand receives no credits. Once all but one player has gone out, play continues by sorting out each player's cards and starting a new round. As soon as a player receives six victory credits, they are immediately crowned the victorious junk bot. Nice job! Pressed for time? Play to five or even four victory credits for a shorter game. 
When playing with two players, the player who goes up first receives one victory credit instead of two. The first player who receives three victory credits wins. You're ready to play Robo Junkyard. For any rules, questions on specific cards, check the rulebook for an FAQ. Also, feel free to check out evansgames.com for more information. Thanks for watching!